Okay, I just have a few comments about dealing with uh, systems of equations in the worksheets. The first is you decide what method you want, either elimination or substitution. So if you have a problem like this, 2x minus 3y equals 5, and x minus 2y equals 3, you could use elimination. You could multiply the second equation by uh, negative 2, and then you'd have negative 2x over here. And when you add the two equations together, the 2x and the negative 2x would cancel. Or you could take the second equation, since we've just got an x by itself with no coefficient, and turn that into x equals 2y plus 3. In other words, you're solving the equation for x. And then substitute the 2y plus 3 into the x in the other equation. Substitute it over there so you can have 2 times 2y plus 3. So use either method you like, whichever one you think is easier. On homework or on a test, of course, whatever you're told to use, use that method. Okay? The other thing I want to say is some of these problems are going to be a bit difficult, but some of them aren't going to be as difficult as they look at first. So, for instance, here I've got this problem, 15x plus 5y equals negative 20, and 4x minus 2y equals 10. And, you know, before you jump in and just start doing this, take a look at, at the problems. The first one, the first equation, I've got a 15 and a 5 and a 20. And all of those numbers are divisible by 5. So we could simplify this whole equation by dividing everything in it by 5. That would mean instead of 15x, I would just have 3x. Instead of 5y, I would just have a y. And instead of negative 20, I'd have negative 4. And then looking at the second equation, I've got 4x minus 2y equals 10, and all of those are even numbers. So why not divide all of these by 2? So instead of 4x, it's just 2x. Instead of negative 2y, it's just going to be negative y. And instead of 10, it'll be 5. And now I've got this positive y and negative y, so that's going to be pretty easy to handle. I'll just add these two together and eliminate the y's. I'm going to have 5x equals, let's see, negative 4 and 5 is just 1. So divide both sides by 5, and x is going to equal 1 fifth. Okay, which brings me to the next point. You're going to have fractions. Now, in some cases, you might find it's easier to turn the fractions into decimals. But before you do that, think about whether the fraction is going to be that hard to deal with. We know we've got to sub go back to one of the equations and substitute 1 fifth in for where an x is. So let's look and see what we've got here. Well, in this first equation, I've got 15x. So if I just put a 1 fifth there instead of the x, I've got 15 times 1 fifth, and 15 and 5 are both divisible by 3. So 15 is going to become 3. I'm sorry, 15 and 5 both are divisible by 5. So 15 will become 3, and 1 over 5 will just become 1. So this thing's going to become 3. I'm going to have 3 plus 5y equals negative 20. And that shouldn't be too hard to solve. Okay? So don't be that scared of fractions. You can probably deal with them okay. When you get your answers, of course, when you get your, your solution for both x and y, you want to plug those back into your equations and make sure that your equations still balance. Okay? So I guess that's all I need to tell you about these. I uh, hope you have fun with them. Take care. I'll see you next time.